Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to teach you a control called Alertin Control. This is what a performance looks like. Uh, the spectator can touch any card they want, and let's say they touched this card right here, which is the Three of Hearts. What we're going to do is we're going to simply make a one-handed fan, take the Three of Hearts, stick it inside the fan, and then take the fan and stick it inside of this whole packet. And in theory, if I've done it correctly without anything like this, maybe I can just clap sometimes like that, and then the Three of Hearts will jump to the top. Let's see how it's done. So for this tutorial, I'm going to make it quite easy for you to follow. So I'm going to use this blue back, bicycle back, so you can follow along quite easily. So let's say the spectator chose this card right here, the blue card. When they, um, by the way, while you're spreading, you're going to say touch a card. You're not going to say pick out a card. You're going to emphasize on touch. So you're going to say, I want you to touch only one card. Now, if you do that, normally, for me, my past experience is that they don't really take out the card. They will only like just touch with their index finger. And if you say touch the card with your pinky or touch the card with your index finger, because you have given them a specific instruction, they'll follow you. So they won't cause any trouble. So you can be like, you spread out the cards and let's say touch any card you want and they touch the blue card right here. Now, the blue card right here, right now is a king of spades. But you're going to do this sneaky move where you th think, they, they think they actually chose the five of diamonds. Now from the exposed view, this is what it looks like. You're only going to, while you're, now keep in mind the audience the spectator is right in front of me, so you're going to hold it down like this. You don't really have to flip the whole hand over like this. I'm only doing this because the camera is right here, and you're going to face the fa face the face of the card cards, if that makes any sense, to where the spectator is. Okay, so in this case, it would be like this. And from here, all you're doing from the back view is that you're going to use your thumb, left thumb right here, to slide out one card to the back like this. Okay, and then you're going to show them this card, which is the five of diamonds. Although they chose this blue card, which is a king of spades, you're, you're go simply going to, while in the process of uh, bring the card cards over like this, you're going to simply use your thumb to slide your king of spades to the very back or some right behind right here so that you can actually show the five of diamonds and then they'll think they chose the five of diamonds. Now, some tips that I can give you is that when you're doing that, you you can, I use my pinky right here, just, um, you know, kind of like to square the cards up and it's a lot, it makes it a lot easier to slide it back like this, back and forth. And um, I use my middle finger to come in contact with this card. So that's what it looks like. Middle finger is right here. So basically I'm using my pinky here and then using my middle finger at the back to hold on, using my thumb at the front to hold on. And then all I'm gonna do is just do a simple switch. It's almost like the Monty move. If you know any Monty tricks, That's it's almost, like that. So again, from here, let's say they chose this card, they touch this card, you're going to bring it up like this. In the process, your thumb is going to roll back, slide the card back, show them the five of diamonds. And then from here, when you bring it down like this, you're going to use your thumb, slide the card back out like this, as far as you can. Okay. So from here, here. So basically, show them, do that back again. Now, they think they just saw this card and they've just, um, and this is still the card they chose, right? But in theory, but in reality, this is a card they saw, and this is a fake card. From here, what I did was I made it, I made a one-handed fan like this, and pushed the king of spades into the middle of the fan, and take, took the fan into the middle of the whole packet. Now, if you have been following me quite well, the top card should be the five of diamonds and you've controlled it to the top. Now, if you don't want to make a fan like I did, and if you don't have any experience with one-handed fans, after you show them like this, let's say they chose this, and do that, and put it back down, you can just 
um, square the right right packet up, right packet, and then you know just stick it into the middle of this packet like so, and then just push it in, and riffle down on the side of your left packet, take the whole the packet and push it into the middle of this packet like so, and it, you can talk about how it's in the middle of the middle of the whole thing when the five of diamonds is I mean the king of diamonds is actually at the top. Okay, so. Um, some applications that you could use for this is that after this control, you can simply do whatever you want, right? This is a card that, so, um, they chose this card, and you show the ten of diamonds, that's the card. You stick the fake card into the packet, and let's say I put it in the middle of the bet deck, and from here, you can do a cardini change if you want, you can do a double lift, say, hey, this is not your card yet, right? And then you're going to just, oh, that was pretty bad, like... Sorry, so you're just gonna do a Cardini change like that. I might have flashed because the camera is in front of me. Let's try that again. There we go. That's a lot better. So you can do a Cardini change if you want. If you want, you can do a shapeshifter. Do whatever you want, and you will pretty much amaze anyone. And because it's such a quick trick, you can use this as an opener anything like that if you want and that is the alert in control guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i'll see you guys next time peace